Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to start a new bin. What is this? That's right. I'm going to start a bin of using worm chow, which is my own worm chow, which is 50% um, oatmeal that's been ground up in a coffee grinder, and then also cornmeal. Um, additionally, this is all they're going to get, and why am I doing this? I'm doing this to see if I can bulk my worms up. So, I'm going to let the experiment run for about six months. This kind of goes contrary to what I normally do, which is not buy things for them. But they're spoiled, you know how it is, being a worm mama. So, we're going to do six months of them using worm chow and see if I can bulk them up as compared to my other worms in my other bins. Alright, let's get going. Alright, so first off, I have prepared the bin for them about a week in advance. And this is my normal prepared bedding that has uh, shredded paper of um, all kinds and I also have uh, some coffee in here you can see little coffee grounds um, so this has been sitting for about a week I also added some worm castings in here to get the microbes going and then I also added their first feeding without the worms being in there so that it had time to break down now I've done a harvest on one of those bins that I have been migrating and I'm going to throw those worms in here right now. Okay, so I've made sure to pick out all the food but when we're going to look at this we'll see if there's any food left in there and if there is we'll pick it out and put it in one of the regular bins. Not a super great harvest here probably only a couple of hundred worms but that's fine they will multiply as they always do so what I want you to do is kind of make note and I will also make note in my video of how big these worms are this is a mixture of red worms blue worms and European night crawlers so looking at this worm here that's a red worm this is a European night crawler and let's see I think that is a blue worm hard to tell but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these guys all up in there there's not gonna be a particular feeding zone there's just going to be the uh, worm mix and that is all they're gonna get except for bedding so I'm gonna add bedding uh, about a cup every week or two weeks. We'll see how it goes with how they're going through this. So just doing a final flip here, make sure there's no regular food in here. And also incorporating the worms into everything. Alrighty. So that food had a week to break down on its own. And so now I'm going to give them their first feeding. And I'm going to, since I'm not familiar with using uh, worm chow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them about a half a cup of food. I also put the grit in with the food um, just so that I kept everything in, in the same proportions. So I'm going to give them a half a cup twice a week. I don't want to take the chance of it heating up or overwhelming them since there's not very many worms. And then, of course, after I get done with a dry feeding like that, I'm going to want to add some moisture. have my trusty, dusty, one liter um, pressure sprayer. And I'm just going to, maybe, seems harsh. Alrighty going to spray that down, make sure there's more than enough moisture in there for that food to get um, incorporated into the already uh, present bacteria and make it available for the worms. And then I'm going to cover them up for the most part. That's as big as my bubble wrap is. All right, guys. Let me know what you think of this experiment. Have you done this before? Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas. Is a half a cup twice a week enough for a handful of worms? 
It seemed like about a handful of worms and I'm giving them a handful of food. I don't really know what I'm looking for as far as a volume of worm chow for them. So let me know if you have any tips and tricks for that and we're going to see how big we can grow these guys up. Alright guys, well if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up and if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.